Oh, we got an interesting thing right now. We just got a oh, we actually delivery, a delivery, another order. delivery order. Nice. Hey guys, welcome back to Excel Media. I'm Jack. I'm Phil, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a good system for a successful meal prep business. Cool. Let's get into Let's it. Let's get into it, guys. All right. Yeah. So, so for us, I think we went the most common route, which is you order this week you get your food the next week. Mm -hmm. So any order placed before Sunday at 12 p.m. will be able will be available for delivery or pickup the following Monday or Tuesday. And that's our going model. Yeah, and then we have a cutoff, cutoff schedule at like, like what is it, 11 p.m. at night? Oh yeah, so it's 12 at afternoon 12 for Sundays. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm at 11 a.m. But yeah, yeah, 12 on afternoons on Sundays. Yeah. Uh, so that's the cutoff date and anything after that is gonna go on to the next week. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. So if you order after 12, that's not gonna be the volume Monday or Tuesday, that's gonna be the one afterwards. Exactly, so yeah. uh, we just put that on bold print at the top of our uh -huh. website. You always wanna print. make sure that's clear because before we put that, a lot of people always called in asking, so how does this work? What's mm -hmm. your date? So I think that was uh, like a common biggest question thing, before we definitely. made it more clear, right? Yeah, definitely, and then now people, we get less of those calls, but you're still gonna get them because yeah, you know, yeah. people don't. Don't yeah. read your business, but exactly. it's only fine. Like I said, we have six seconds to make the business or to make the sale uh -huh. to get them in. And so um, we have two routes that you can take. One mm -hmm. is delivery and one is pickup. Um, right. Let's talk about pickup first because we just kind of want to talk about our situation. How yeah, we're kind of sure. fortunate about for that. Sure. Um, for example, I own a gym. So yeah. We so we a, kind of that deal kind of inked out really well. And at the same time, we're, you know, both partners within this mm -hmm. uh, meal prep business. So, you know, obviously we get to use the gym as a pickup exactly, location. Right? And for us, it's free, obviously, because yeah. I own it. Right? Yeah. I mean, it'd be ridiculous to pay rent to myself. So, right. um, yeah, we have a pickup location here, but let's talk about some ways that you guys can make a pickup location for your, right. for your business, right? So some of the local competitors that are in our area or like in some areas near us that I did see, they uh, partner with either their local nutrition shops, their local gyms, or there's a cryotherapy place that I saw they use exactly. as well. So it's really about you going and asking and trying to work out that deal. It's gonna be different for everyone, mm -hmm. whether that's you cutting them like 20%, whether that's you cutting them maybe extra meals on the side or like they get to advertise their business on your website, whatever it is. You yeah, know? Uh, you can go to like community centers, sometimes right. even like parks, I've seen that before. Mm. Uh, I've seen some at my local Crunch Gym, uh -huh. right? They have like a whole table set up. I think there's like a small fee for it, but um, if you could just get your pickups there, people are like way more likely to order because there's right. no delivery fee, right? Right. Um, but you know, you could also just go for the delivery route, right, which we do. Right. Um, we target a very wide radius and we deliver to a lot of different places. Uh -huh. And um, just make sure that you have a good system and that you get their phone numbers when you when you deliver it because yeah. a lot of complications can happen. Yeah, exactly. Um, During deliveries, you know, they might be in a unit that's not on your GPS or whatever the case exactly. is, or they're waiting somewhere that you know you don't know. Of. yeah definitely so uh just make sure that uh they they have the option of going delivery or pickup yeah and that it's very clear on how they do that right right make it a shipping cost or no shipping cost make it like in bold words free pickup this right. location this address right and uh, contact us here when you're here things like that make it clear cut as possible and there's not gonna be any complications mm -hmm. and that's not to say if you don't have a pickup location you can't do this business yes of course you can you've seen the bigger names they only do shipping but they do cover like the whole united states so what we kind of recommend is um you know, you kind of just do deliveries within your own area, yep. kind of make that clear on your website. Of course, yep. it's always going to be a plus if you do pickup and delivery, but don't let that hinder you from actually starting the business. Yes. Oh, we got an interesting thing right now. We just got a oh, we actually delivery, a delivery, another order. delivery order. Nice. Right, so we just got another order right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the way this worked, right, is that they yeah. just did it and they picked delivery and they know the date that they're going to get oh, awesome. food. And it's a recurring client. So that shows mm -hmm. like if your product is good, this is about his fourth time ordering <laughs> from us. So you know it's our really food is cool. good. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> and so um, you can definitely even do this without even a pickup location. Right? Uh -huh. If you can't find a good deal around your area, then don't even do it. It's totally right. fine to just deliver. Right. Uh, choose one day out of the week to deliver the food. Um, eventually, when you get more orders, you can scale this to right. have delivery people and just kind of spread that work out. Um, you know, uh, the, the great thing about this business is once you get enough sales, man, there's so many routes to scale the business. Right, right. So um, that's one way you can do it. Um, you could even ship nationally. 
You yeah, I mean? if you could figure out the cost, you know, all the installations that you need to keep the food, you know, good once exactly. it gets there. But honestly, right now, I would kind of recommend against it just because shipping time is kind of unexpected with the whole situation of shut-ins mm -hmm. going yeah, on. There you go. But vice versa, that does work in your favor as well because consumers kind of behavior is kind of changing. Now they are more opted to like get delivery instead of mm -hmm. going in person. Mm -hmm. Cause that's gonna be the safer route. They're gonna do no contact deliveries. Yeah, with everything that's yeah. takeout nowadays, people right? Exactly. Getting real used to that. Exactly. Uh, that new system of taking out your food. Right. And you're getting more comfortable with not eating at a certain mm -hmm. place. So right now, it actually is a great time. Right. To start. So it's safer to pay the delivery fee versus going out on their own in person. Exactly. Right. Uh -huh. So um, yeah, just make it clear um, if you go either direction, and like it's totally fine if you don't have a location. Just right. deliver the food. Um, it's going to take a little bit of work at first because you're going to be most likely the only person to do it. Fortunately, we have a team here, uh -huh. um, but you know, it's going to be hard work. Any business is going to be hard work in the beginning. Right, right, right. But once you do it and you keep sticking with it, man, the payout is pretty incredible. Right. Right. And so I think that uh, also leads us to customer service, right? Mm. Uh, a plus customer service. Uh, when you're in any kind of service or product industry, you want to be making sure that you're beating everybody on customer service mm -hmm. uh, your response times are like less than 10 minutes you want to be talking to them right away they have any confusion right. any any like questions about it you answer right there on the right spot. especially on yelp it like it shows the clients how mm -hmm. long your response time is that's why you really want to respond right when you get something right when you have a notification install all the apps on your phones make sure you know when there's a question around definitely and yeah. you, you know we've uh we've gotten you know dms on instagram literally at 11 p.m at night mm -hmm. and i'll talk to them for like 30 40 minutes because they have questions and guess what at the end of the day they did convert so really do take that time answer every single question you never know because yeah, when they do that pays the pet time pays for itself yeah you know? yeah yeah and um you know sometimes customers you know, it, it can be a little confusing on the website, no matter how good you make it. Right. You know, uh, maybe they don't have the time to read it and they're going to ask you tons of questions. Some questions we get all the time is, uh -huh. hey, uh, can we choose like different options or like mm -hmm. uh, how does the delivery work? Even mm -hmm. though you've already talked about it, you know, don't, you know, kind of just be patient with the people. I know right. it can be a little frustrating. At yeah. Times. Be repetitive. A lot of people ask just for the sake of asking. It's not because they haven't seen it or they don't understand. They're just more sure trying to reassure themselves on their purchase decisions as well. So help them guide them through that process. And in turn, you're going to get a new customer. Yeah. And be really kind when you're doing right, this. Exactly. You know, when they're on the phone, be really kind. Mm -hmm. You want to be very personable, very friendly. And they're going to feel like, wow, you know, these guys really care. They right. talk to me super fast. No other business out there is doing this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, no one really talks like right away to the client. And when they get that quick right away response, man, the conversion rate is so much higher so that's our number right. one tip here talk to them right away right less than 10 minutes try to get that and you'll be good to go on your customer service mm -hmm. right there um same with my business when it comes to the, the the gym and when someone signs up for a free consultation right i have 10 minutes to answer that because i know mm -hmm. that they're right now they're actively thinking about my business right uh -huh. and i can actively make the sale right. i can actively make them come in if i just talk to them within 10 minutes and so many times on the emails i always get wow, this was such a quick reply. Like, uh -huh. I really appreciate that. I thought I would have to wait the whole right. day. Right. And when they get it right away, there's so much more likely. Yeah, you want to strike while the iron is hot. Exactly, mm -hmm. right. So um, customer service is really the key for this business. It's really going to what's going to make those recurring sales happen. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and you know, take the time. We do get a lot of custom orders, you know, like Philip said, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, can I do a couple more of this type of entree instead mm -hmm. of being locked into the 222, which we have a six meal package yeah, yeah, yeah. on our website. We're kind of locked into, you know, like two, 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 three entrees uh, options. Yeah. But some people are like, hey, can I opt to like just try one of everything? If it's within your ability to do so or to provide to the customer, like if you can do it. If Definitely. it's sort of out of the way, still do it. If it's really not possible, still try your best to do it. Yeah, go the extra mile. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Always try to go the extra mile. Yeah. That's what really creates a really long lasting, really successful business. Mm -hmm. So that's uh that's really it for this portion of the business or of the, the series. Right. Yeah. Um so just make sure that your your um you know two methods of getting the food there are on point, it's clear, and the customer service is on point, quick, speedy and right. effective uh, responses of what you need to do here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cool, see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out.